Um, next question is to Senator Famica. Uh, in your role as a state senator, what have you done to address the heroin opioid crisis confronting our region and our state? And what more, if anything, do you think the state needs to do? Well, in my role as first selectman in East Lyme, we've held we held a few forums on this issue uh, as my administrative uh, role as administrative chief of police. So we began raising awareness by holding uh, forums, and I continued to do that uh, when uh, in my first term as state senate. This is about an education issue. This is a scourge that's hand, that's. Uh, uh, traveling through our entire country. Uh, we need to do many things. We passed some legislation that uh, allows the, the a more liberal use of Narcon uh, and prescription uh, drug restrictions. Uh, I think we should go further. I think we should have warning labels on all, uh, on all of those narcotic drugs that say that, yes, they could in fact be, uh, they could in fact be dangerous and addictive. Uh, that doesn't exist now. Uh, but I think uh, in the future we have to work to expand uh, access to 12-step recovery programs, more beds for, for addicts, because when they raise their hand and they want help, we got to have some place to be able to put them. So uh, that will be a, a program that I will push uh, in if I'm lucky enough to be elected next time. Um, and uh, you have 90 seconds. Uh, you know, what ideas might you bring to Hofford if elected uh, to address the heroin opioid crisis? Uh, well, well, I definitely agree with Paul on this issue. I don't think this is a, a party line issue. I think that this is a societal issue where we have to address this problem. Um, I do like uh, the new program that was coming out trying to address uh, recovering addicts uh, f through a holistic approach, uh, trying to get families involved in it, trying to help out the individual in recovery. Um, so I definitely think that, that we need to address that, and I think that um, the more funding that we can get for this issue, the better. I definitely agree uh, with Paul on the Narcan issue. I think that every first re first responder uh, should be trained in how to use Narcan, should have it on them, um, because that's this is what this is about, about saving lives and saving people. Um, and you have another 30 seconds, and you, your opponent raised the issue of, of cost. Uh, uh, the state doesn't have a lot of money, but these things cost money, so if maybe in your... your uh, summarizing, if you could address that issue as well. I guess 30 the seconds. The governor, thank you. The governor introduced a new social finance program that uh, floated bonds to help with these things upon effectiveness. Um, you know, here in communities across the, t the state, uh, the DARE program or similar programs are introduced as uh, drug and alcohol awareness in the fifth grade, and then nothing else happens. Uh, I think that there should be an expansion of that DARE program to introduce them to the police as their friends in the fifth grade an introduction to what the drugs look like, then seventh grade when they begin to see those in their hands, and then ninth grade when they become actively using. So I think that uh, there's an expansion that needs to be done, and that could be effective in handling the drug problem. Well, thank you. Uh, and our next question is from Mr. Henowitz, and it's from Tim Cotter. Uh, 